what and then the person say um i would like to build my portfolio and i would like to know you would like to do a photo shoot something like me the fireworks like ta-da you finally have your own photographer the feeling sweaty yes well i don't have time for this type of things i'm just being honest with you guys like are you for real real and this guy and i'm like are you for real he's like yes i'm like how you so professional you acted so professional hey guys welcome back to life with zara i hope everybody is so excited for this weekend to basically just snuggle because it's so cold in cape town so i don't know what people's gonna be up to because it's like extremely cold i just wanted to have a little story time i feel so weird i feel like i look so weird because i've been wearing my scarf for so long that it feels weird when it's off anyway like i'm thinking do i look right or what <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in my name is zara this is my lifestyle channel everything goes but it's mostly about life and sharing things because i mean like we all are humans and we're on this human experience on this earth together why not share a few things why not show that maybe what i've experienced someone else have experienced or maybe you can learn by something so i'm not that i've experienced i'm not going to hold back on my channel i love to share and I love the comments, even if people DM me on Instagram or comment below, I really love the interaction. But if you are new, you're welcome. Welcome, make yourself at home, join my YouTube family. And if you've been here for the, since the beginning, you know, you know, I love you guys. Okay, so today, as you know by the title, I will be talking about the fact that I have a stalker. So let me tell you guys the story. So when the day in my last video that I made, e prep like my last eat video that i made um i was busy cooking and it was like past 12 and you know what was so weird is that my husband and my brother was literally talking all the time about how um when ramadan is finished like the last day at night 12 o'clock satan gets unlocked like he's out he's out and all this stuff like they're making fun like every time something happens it's like satan is out and it's like all this shit and then i experienced this i get the message like past one um, Salam Zara, how you doing? <laughs> so, I have a new phone and I like change phones frequently, alhamdulillah. So, I don't always back up, man. Like, I'm only now a backup queen. So, I don't always have the numbers that I had before. And I'll just like take it as anyway, like, because I'm not even going to bother anymore. I'm trying to keep up with having everybody's numbers. But, um, sorry guys, I'm just feeling a bit insecure about my hair right now. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm like... Is it too stiff? <laughs> is it steady? Do I look weird? Do I look like I have a blog? And anyway, insecurities aside, um, I get this message to Lam Zara. I'm like, and spelling it like Zara, like Z A R double A H, which people don't usually spell it like that. It's always Z A R A. And I'm like, Wa alaikum salam, how are you doing? <laughs> and the person's like, I'm, I'm fine, I'm good. And you and I'm like, Alhamdulillah, I'm just busy cooking. Meaning like, I'm, this is why I'm cutting this short. I don't even know who I'm chatting to, but if somebody's greeting me like that, they definitely know me, right? Anyway, the person tried to continue. And they're like, yeah, me too, long at love. Okay, so now the person's like, I bet you're wondering who it is. And I'm like, seeing a whole lot of laughing faces. <laughs> like, yeah. And this person's like, his name starts with a G, like some name that i've never heard before but it's like it's either i don't know the the spelling of hamad or khalid or i don't know but it was just weird and then i said okay pretend like i know who the person is and they said photographer then it hit me to the last shoot that i did photographer is this that guy because he also said salam he said his name when i asked and then he said the photographer so i'm thinking it's the last shoot that i did straight away then the person said that they have been wanting to ask me something for a while now uh, after all the how are you doing and stuff like that and i'm just being like kind but now i see where my husband comes from like with goofy like and there was a part of me that i saw i was like oh so this is probably what my husband's talking about because this could have lead to something weird you know if i wasn't so friendly anyway this is from my perspective what i'm thinking so the person's like the photographer so i was like oh hey how are you thinking immediately is that photographer and this person plays along and i'm like we're not and then the person say um 
I would like to build my portfolio and I would like to know you would like to do a photo shoot. So I'm thinking like me and my husband or what because I'm like starting to pop again off on Instagram, being consistent and stuff. So maybe this person saw like my stuff over there and now I want to do it. And I'm like, in my head, it's like the fireworks. Like, ta-da, you finally have your own photographer like other influencers on Instagram. Like they all have this one photographer, like their person, you know, and I'm like, oh my God. So I was gonna eat. So this is how it happens. Like somebody just approach you and then become your photographer, and he's like, and then what you can have all the pictures, of course. I'm like, yes, because I have so many locations in my head where I would like to shoot. And I'm just shy to like go on my own and do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then I'm like, wait, I need to speak to you about something. Can I phone you? It's now almost two o'clock from this chat going back and forth. He's like, when? I'm like, right now, since you're wide awake, you're busy cleaning and stuff. Like, thinking this person have the same energy as me. And thinking it's that photographer also, and he was very professional. So, I'm not thinking anything. I found the person. The person is, like, talking. The person is, like, awkward. And I'm, like, awkward because you were so friendly approaching me. Like, why can't you have that same energy when talking over the phone? Because I'm, like, look, I'm very excited. And I'm screaming. And I'm, like, but I have one thing to say. <laughs> the reason why I'm phoning is to say that um, I picked up some Ramadan weight <laughs> from eating in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm not that confident yet. Can you just give me two weeks to just get to my confident weight again? Because I'm going to be like, oh, I forgot to pull in my tummy. Oh, and I don't like to do shoots like that. I just want to stand normal and be like, oh, loving myself. I don't want to be like, oh, my way, can we do that over? Because my tummy is showing, my belly is showing, and, you know? So he's like, no, you're fine. You're perfect. And I'm like, when I said you see this girl that like, that's the HR, the organizer of the marketing team and everything of this company that I shoot it with. Because she contacts the models and stuff like that. Or oh, the girls, the influencers and stuff. He's like, I was wanting to talk to you about that. So I'm like, okay, so something probably happened. They seem like they had a great relationship. And then the person's like, um, I really have feelings for you. I'm shook. Standing with my brown what's it called again not a salad top but you know that looking salad tops but with a hoodie you saw if you watched my eat prep video last one hands is full to feeling sweaty hair is full oh, like, i have time for this type of things i'm just being honest with you guys like are you for real real and this guy and i'm like are you for real he's like yes i'm like how you so professional you acted so professional like I never saw you look at me in a funny way for one split second. He's like, yes, but ever since the last time I spoke, I'm like, what? He's like, I know, please don't judge me. Please don't tell anybody. I'm like, what? Like, I'm a married woman. He's like, I know, but like, I'm like, now my husband's all coming to the kitchen. I immediately act like a guilty bitch. I'm like, look here. Thank you so much. Like cutting it short because I know where this is going to lead with my husband coming in. I don't have a list to start and I eat like that. And I am upset. I am furious of the disrespect. I'm going to tell you guys why. So my husband came into the kitchen and then I start to talk to stuff and I just say loudly, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'll speak to you in the morning. But down, my husband's like, who's my bed? This time of the night is like, past two. I'm like telling him everything. He's like, that's so weird that this guy is messaging you and not like the HR. And then I'm like, yeah, I know. And I'm going to phone in the morning to find out like what the heck. Maybe it's a, a private job or whatever. And then he's like, okay, it's just so weird. And he couldn't let it go. Like, it's so weird. Weird. anyway that goes on i'm busy cooking i am furious i'm like this guy what does he think of me you see me posting my husband posting my kids do you think i have time for another man do you know how much energy goes into marriage do you know how much work goes into marriage and you just come and try to chase me put me in some predicament put me in some what the who, or who do you think you are i'm furious like I am furious. I'm like waiting. And my then my husband starts chatting to the person as me. And he's like, okay, you can see this guy. I always keep asking questions and stuff like that. And I was upset because I wanted to sort it out. But luckily, the guys are just got interrupted now. My husband, it was bothering him. And he was chatting as me. 
and I was a bit irritated because I can take care of this myself and I was like yo I don't smack my eat to be mal because this man also my girl to buy that man's house and all the stuff and I'm so glad that he was in some holy spirit where it didn't happen like that because like even though the people are wrong and stuff like that I just am not the person to go tell your wife even especially if you're a stranger like look here this is what your husband's doing that and it's like I'm not because I I just leave it in like calm as hands like you know and I've done that before and it came out and it wasn't through me and it, I just felt that like whatever happens in the dark just has to come out no matter what so I've learned that in life and I, and I don't want to be the reason because people will blame you even if you're just telling like look at your husband's this your husband's people will blame you for breaking their heart but it's you know how people are anyway so um husband sees a person they tell the person shit or the evil person just don't reply then i just wait for my husband to go to mass i send this guy i did a voice note like telling him like who the fuck do you think you are like to message me like you must really think love on me is this some prank as well as like this has to be a prank you say it's not a prank no go to my daddy me and the kids and natasha i'm not going to draw work face on my i don't know I got interrupted again sorry guys now i must think where was i oh i don't like to messy people stuff i was speaking to this guy sending him voice notes shitty voice notes like who do you think you're like do you know what you're doing you're trying to break a family trying to take parents away from my kids by chasing me you are breaking relationships between my mother and my husband like you are taking all of that away by trying to chase by me like seeing you can get to that because if you do get to that that's what you are doing and using your work to get girls you remind me of an old teacher molesting young girls different job but the same thing you're using your work to do dirty so the guy didn't play says sorry wrong person so i said no it's not the wrong person nobody spells my name correctly you spelled it correctly, so it's intention. Who the fuck are you? I messaged the HR, your one, two, three. I didn't even think so far. She's like, you're being scammed. You're being scammed and this and that. And the person that isn't even Muslim that like did the photography and everything. So my intuition has been very strong lately. And I still this person. I'm gonna win us when I was done speaking. Anyway, when I was done on the phone with the woman and she told me it was a scam. I immediately contact this person telling me my intuition is going to tell me who the fuck you are. So I'm telling you now, if you are someone I know, stay the fuck away. Because if this is going to happen again, I'm going to allow my husband to be the man that he is and come tell your whole family. Because I know you have to be married. The person doesn't reply and I'm just like, yo, who the fuck do you think you are? And being rude and stuff like that. So guys, please be careful what if i like i was so goofy what if i like hey hey phone him and talk about my belly weight don't even know if it's really that guy like are you serious what's wrong with me so friendly and it can come so wrong and then um what if he didn't say I like you and he acted all professional on the phone and it led to me meeting the guy and I didn't do any background checks, nothing and I'm thinking it's that guy and where should meet the guy, see it's not that guy and the guy said I me, I was like, Felix, da, da, da. they either kidnapped me, they either raped me, they either came up. This is what happens and it can happen to anybody so please be careful, social media is becoming very dangerous. Yeah, very, very dangerous and that was an eye opening for me honestly so yeah guys i hope you enjoy the story time i'm a little embarrassed to upload it but if i can protect anybody out there why not so don't forget to comment like subscribe 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 i love you guys happy weekend